Okay. What's your what What's your now? name? What's huh? your name? What? You guys tell us your name. Oh. My original name. Yes. Mm -hmm. Zainon Binti Osman. Zainon is my first name. Mm -hmm. Binti is daughter of. Osman is my father first name. We do not have last name. Mm -hmm. Never did and never. Yeah. So. I must say, I have said this many times to you all, United States of America is a very challenging country. However, that. Yeah, the gum. I heard so. <laughs> so you're talking about growing up. Yes, growing up, it makes me... In, in Singapore. Yes. It took me it took me many years living in this country, uh, like Samuel and Dewash and Nick and all of you all are here, very new. When you were here five years or ten years, you just sort of beginning to get to know life in this country. When you live here twenty five years, then you and the Singapore I was completely different. Um, I realized it, like I said, I, it took me 25 years to start to realize how much I appreciate the Singapore I used to know. I still, I will always love Singapore. I always want to go home every year. But coming from living in a small house, I was raised by my grandmother. We don't have TV, we don't have radio. Um, I watch TV through the cracks of next door's neighbor's house. That's how I watch TV. And by the time um, I went back to live with my parents, I was about six, seven years old. It was a very, very sad, very depressing um, moment. I felt very alone because those are my real parents, my real brothers and sisters, but I didn't, I was not accepted. So coming from how hard it is with hard to get water, hard to get food, we're talking about Singapore. The Singapore that we all know today, you all see on pictures today, is 1,000% is opposite than Singapore I was born, I was raised. Then it took me many years living with my parents. I could not accept them. Uh, we have very hard time to get along because I have my grandmother always. But then growing up time, it was very hard life, even with my parents. In what way? For a long time, we didn't have TV. By six or seven, I went back to live with my parents because my grandmother didn't know how to send me to school. Uh, I figure I don't need school. I don't need. I don't need to go to college. You know, I got my grandmother all my life. That's all I need. So I was forced to go back to my parents. It was very painful. I cry a lot, but my parents never knew. My siblings never knew. When we were little and we were young, we say whatever we want, even though. We hurt each other. We never think about it. Um, but then as I was growing up, I hated life with my parents. I hmm. didn't like life with my siblings, six other siblings. Did you have to work? Not until I finished secondary school. Mm -hmm. We don't have high school. We only have primary school and secondary school. I didn't go to an English school. I was not lucky enough to be selected to go to an English stream school. So I learned everything in Malaysian language, nothing in English except English as second language. We learned very, very simple grammar. That's about it. By the time I finished high school, I got better. I failed my mm -hmm. Malaysian language, but I passed so, English. So what was, the, what was the school like when you were like your 
middle school. We wear your traditional med clothes. Your, your middle school. Uh, there's no middle school. I mean, there's no such thing as middle school. When you're 12 years old, fifth grade. We start secondary school. Also, when you're fifth, so, so you're in fifth grade. There's no kindergarten. There's no preschool. We jump straight to seven years old. We go to primary one. Okay. Then we finish until we are so, so what primary was a, six. That's what was twelve a, years. What old. was a school day like when you were twelve we years old? We only go to school seven thirty in the morning until twelve thirty mm -hmm. afternoon. Then we come home, um, do homework. We play outside. There's no computers. There's no uh -huh. iPad. But we play outside a lot. Uh -huh. We pick leaves from henna tree and make make believe or something. This is from real thing uh -huh. that people uh -huh. use today. Um, things like that. Uh -huh. And by evening time, we must go basic Islam class. That's priority. Uh -huh. We have to wear hijab. We have to carry our Quran every night. It's dark, we walk. Going to school, I was chased after dog. <laughs> yeah. But we still go back. Now, it doesn't mean you chase after dog, we don't go anymore. You still, you walk to school. Uh -huh. and that's, you get 25 cents. You're lucky you get 25 cents. You know, most of the time we get 15 cents to mm -hmm. go to school every day. Um, most of the time, my mom feed us rice, soy sauce, Butter. Uh -huh. Sometimes we get fish, fried fish. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, eggs, fried eggs. That's how we grew up. But then, in years time, as I grew up older, um, I got married. Mm -hmm. But I got divorced. Girls would walk in the back, uh -huh. and we would carry our the Quran holder. Uh -huh. We would carry on top of our head. We're not allowed to put Quran anywhere else. We either hug it on our chest, so we put it up here to show respect. Uh huh. We can't put it in what? our back in the back of our butt. No. What if it like What if it fell off? You kiss the Quran. Uh huh. It shows your respect to the book, uh -huh. to your faith, uh -huh. to Allah, between you and uh -huh. your belief and religion. Now, were there I, other other kids that didn't have to go? Or everybody? Most most kids in the neighborhood when I was growing up with my parents, yeah, we must go. Uh -huh. We like it or not, we must go. Because that so you start reminded me of my days in the Catholic school with the with the, with the yes. nuns. Uh -huh. As we went and none of the other kids had to. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you but had here, no choice. But here yes. all the kids did. But but then uh, you know, after all those growing up and all the things happens in my life, oh. and then I met my present husband. We okay, you get, you get, you get. me all those hard life childhood. Uh huh. It gives me a very good lesson today. And that's time I even told my husband. Now I said, you know, I'm glad my parents spanked me. <laughs> I'm glad my parents smacked me on the head. I grew up and survived. Can see on my Facebook, it's a black one I wear. Mm -hmm. With that, in that 90 degrees heat, you walk every day mm -hmm. to school and back. If I'm on the afternoon session, you walk in the afternoon. By 6, 6.30, you walk back home. You walk through golf course. We didn't walk on, we walked part of the, the journey on the side of the road, main road but mostly on golf course. I realized then, walking then during those early teenagers years, when I'm here in this country, it made, it made me appreciate what nature is all about. Mm -hmm. Available because kids today don't do that. Kids today, they on iPad, iPad, <laughs> DS or some kind of children mini computer. Mm -hmm. um, no, there's no, like you're saying, you prefer your children to read books and then play outside. Um, yeah, now I appreciate better, now that I'm here, I appreciate much more. I wish I could go back 